How's it going guys and welcome to today's video. In the farming and ranching world, just when you think you've seen it all, that's when you're going to see something that you've never seen before. Kind of like me the other day when I was feeding these calves at the manger and I noticed that I've got two calves in here with pink eye. That is completely unheard of here at the end of December when the weather is cold, but we've got it, so we got to deal with it. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Now, like I said before, pink eye is really not a problem associated with the colder months because it is something that is spread by flies and fly activity is minimal right now because it's too cold. You guys that have been with the channel for a while may remember this summer uh, when I was able to treat the calves with pink eye out in the field. Back then they were small enough where I could jump on top of them and hold them down while I treated them. Thing is now they're, uh, they're probably closer to 500 pounds, so I don't think that's gonna work. I think we're gonna have to get these guys in the squeeze chute. Earlier today when I fed calves at the manger, I was smart enough to close the gate here in their little corral so that it would trap them in here. And that way when I came back to treat them, I didn't have to try to chase everybody and round them up. After I closed that gate, I opened the gates going back to the squeeze chute, hoping that their curiosity would get the best of them and that they would just kind of go back there on their own so that when I came back now, everyone would be up in the chute and it would be just a little bit less running through the mud for me. As you can see, my plan almost worked, except that that black calf right there is one of the ones that needs to be treated. The vast majority of them came up here in this pen where I wanted all of them to be, but the one that I need is not in here. So, looks like we're going through the mud. I've got everybody here in the working corral now so I can start sorting off the calves that I don't need until I get down close to the two that I do need. Now notice how calm everybody is right now and I'm actually trying really hard to keep things that way. As long as everybody stays mellow like this, these jobs seem to go a lot smoother. All right, well, I got lucky there. The, uh, the actually turned out to be three that I needed. Got up here in the crowd tub, and I got one more in there with them that I don't need, that black white face there. But I figured uh, as, as good as that worked out, I'd just take all four of them. And when the black white face comes through the chute, I'll just let them go right on through. And if you guys are gonna cooperate, I guess. Yeah. These calves are just working a little bit too fast for me to get cameras set up. So I don't know what all of that you'll be able to see or what all of it will be worth showing. But we got them in the alley now so we can start running them through the chute and treating them. Thank you. 
This first red white face heifer that I've got in here doesn't have an extreme case of pink eye. In fact, the reason that I caught her was just more because I noticed a lot of weeping on her face. And as I get a closer look at her eye, I can see that it's not a full-blown pink eye infection. But let me give you a look at what her eye looks like and tell you what I'm going to do about it. Okay, I don't know how well she's going to hold still for me. But if we see, right, well, she's turning her eye upward. It's kind of tough. But sort of in the front of her eyeball there, there's a little bit of an abrasion there. Also notice on the side of her face how much she's been tearing. So again, not a worst case scenario for sure, but as long as I was getting the others in here, I figured I'd grab her as well. This case, like I said, is it's not extreme, so I don't think it justifies the use of antibiotics. I think uh, just some of the, the powder that I puff in their eyes for pink eye should be all that she needs to get over this. The look on her face tells me that medicine doesn't feel very good, but I don't know. They gotta have it, you know, we gotta do something for them. The good part is, is that that's all I need to do to her. I can turn her loose now. This next little heifer or steer actually didn't look, but it's got a much more serious looking infection. And as a matter of fact, upon a closer look, I noticed that it actually has a foreign object stuck in the eye. So I don't know if that's something that, well, it was uh, had its head down eating hay, maybe something could have got lodged in there. But we're gonna have to remove the foreign object, probably go ahead and give this one a shot of antibiotics and we'll go ahead and give it the powder as well. Now, I'm sure you're not going to want to hold still for me. Ouchie. Ouchie. Man, well, that definitely did not feel good. Ah, I feel sorry for this girl. Um, but yeah, that was a foxtail that was stuck in the eye. I don't know how uh, she got that. There must have been one in the hay or something. But yeah, that was... That was pretty nasty. We did get it out though, so that's the good thing. Um, so we'll go ahead and give her some antibiotics, shoot some powder in that eyeball and get her on her way. It ain't gonna be as bad this time. Poor girl. Poor girl. I know it don't feel good, not a bit. Two down, one to go. I was trying to get the little red calf to go into the chute, but wouldn't you know it, the black white face got in front of him. Since the black white face didn't need to be doctored, I just opened up the head gate and let him on through. Somehow during that process, the red calf got turned around backwards and decided to back right on into the chute. Now I tried a little bit, but boy, once he got in there, he sure didn't want to come out. Finally, I decided sometimes you just got to play the hand you're dealt, and we'll try to give it a go. I squeezed him up, and then I stuck a pipe under his jaw so that he couldn't drop his head while I was working on his eye.
Well, this is not an ideal situation, but it's kind of looking like that's what it's going to be. Again, this guy or gal, whatever it is, you know, let us see here. So this little steer here, again, is not a real extreme case, but it's bad enough to justify doctoring, um, but not quite bad enough, I don't think, to justify antibiotics. I think the powder itself is going to be enough. Okay, going to give us a little bit of a better look here. So you can see the eye is really red or pink, that's the name, and it's got that white spot starting on the middle. So like we saw back with that black calf, the white spot took up the entire eye. On this little red white face, the white spot is just getting started. So that's how I know it's not a really extreme case, but like I say, still bad enough that it deserves a little bit of attention. Now don't you start that. All right, are you ready to get out of here? So I'm trying to go the right way, but you didn't open the gate. All right, let me get it for you. Get you guys back out with your friends. today with nobody getting injured and no casualties except for one and that was my sunglasses I don't know what happened to them but I reached up to put them on and they're gone so I'm guessing they're in the mud somewhere I'm gonna see if I can find them and hopefully they didn't get stepped on <laughs> Well, what I thought was going to end up being three cases of pink eye ended up being one eye with an abrasion, one eye with a foxtail, and one that actually was pink eye. All three things present themselves almost identically, and as luck would have it, they all three require almost the same treatment as well. In a week or so, these calves should heal up and be good to go, and that'll be just about right because that's probably about the time they're going to be going to auction. And I don't think that having scars from these issues is going to hurt their price. Although if they had an active infection, that probably would. Until next time, thanks for hanging out in the corrals with me today, guys. And I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Mm -hmm.